that's fine. Hello and welcome to our fine episode of Who's That Anime? Golden Boy. Hi. That's and you right. know you You know you love it. Really. Um love is a strong word. You know it's brought to you by the studio that uh, uh, brought you Naruto. I did not know that. Uh I did notice that the people who published it on uh <laughs> on <laughs> Crunchyroll were also responsible for Charge Man Ken. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, so they took some hard up anime shows and like put them on. Oh yeah. God. Yep, that seems to be seems to be working now. Hang on. Uh, Double checking that I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So not only did the Rebel, but they also did um <clears throat> Battle Angel. The original OVB. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, there's another one. They had um, Oh My Goddess. That's another one that came out by And something else. But I can't remember what it is now. So Such it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so we have lots to talk about this week. This is our last Golden Boy episode. Very much um, so. We're going to cover episodes five and six. Yeah, five and six. The last two OAVs of Golden Boy. And boy, are you revving to go, Steve? It, uh, <laughs> I wish you wouldn't use that turn of phrase, but yes, I'm sure I'm ready to go. Uh, I Can I? Right, okay. Let me just start. So I hated this episode. I hated episode five. <laughs> I hated it so much. <laughs> yeah. It was so so awkward throughout all of it. Um I have written more notes for this episode than I have for any other. Combined. Uh yes. Yes. Cool. I have written so many notes. Um, starting, of course, is that this this episode's name is Balls to the Wall. Yeah. Or, sorry, Balls. B at symbol, exclamation point, exclamation point, dollar sign <laughs> to the walls. Yeah, you got to censor that stuff, man. Yes, because they definitely censor other stuff. Um, <laughs> this is quite an episode. So, Starts out, as always, on his bike, on mm -hmm. the mountain pass, and then a woman on a motorbike basically just drives past him really fast, and he's like, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to follow her. Oh, But he, he says... Yeah, he did. Well, he says, yeah. an encounter on the mountain pass. <laughs> he stops to say that. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it might be a reference to something, and I cannot think what it is. I also noted that, you know, as with many of the female characters in this show, the uh, <laughs> the clothing is not exactly um, suited for its intended purpose in this scenario. She's definitely not dressed for the slide, if that bike were to fall over. Well, at least she's wearing uh, appropriate biker gear. No, no, she's not. <laughs> she, she's she not. She's, she's just not wearing it right. Just, I don't know. She's sort of just wearing what I assume it, it is full biker gear that's but spandex. Or <laughs> it just doesn't look like biker gear. It looks like biker gear, not worn like you should wear it. I suppose you're maybe right. Uh, it's, it's leather. It looks like leather uh, biker gear suit, so when she falls off, she doesn't like, just scar the, way the entire arm off by the friction. Off the ground, you well, just slide. The 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 low cut V in the uh the biker suit is probably going to cause more of a problem, I imagine. That wasn't a low cut V. That's just hard not zipping it up. <laughs> oh no, I I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a that's a, a an incidental low cut V. She uh, has quite large breasts in this in this one. She she does. I mean, that is a that's a kind of running theme, I guess, with. The more powerful women in the show. So, like, particularly, I suppose, I suppose rich in people, episode yeah. one and episode uh, 
four, the swimming one. Mm-hmm. That's those are the other the other two women I would sort of put her up against. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so basically, yeah, he, he has his encounter in the mountain pass, and then decides uh, he's going to follow her, and then ends up getting a job as like a servant, I guess. Yeah, he goes to works in a rich estate. I, uh, you think you're missing the the like the start of it where she's just like, uh, riding her bike, and going, oh, oh yeah, revving up that's while right. drinking beer. I did. did uh, I did write the sentence. Did she just fuck her bike? I forgot to uh, to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Not to say that. Uh, I I mean, I'm I'm gonna say it. And then there's also like the the the, the amazing innuendo of kickstands and tailpipes and all of this like loaded language. <laughs> it's being used. It's loaded. Very awkward. <laughs> She's also drinking what I can only assume is like the mid nineties equivalent of a can of monster. Uh No. No. No? I'm sure Kintaro will reference it as a uh, irresponsible because it's actual alcohol. It was alcohol. Oh, fair enough. I think she's drinking some beer. So it's a four loco then. <laughs> <laughs> four loco. Hi. Uh But he, he then... of course uh keeps the can. Because that's important. It's a plot device. It is a plot device for later. Sorry. In, in in what can only be the worst way possible. Um, I think yeah, because he he uh, of course while she's um while she's fucking her bike, uh the, <laughs> the she he's of course just looking at her, and then he realizes she like looks over at him and like the face the kind of animated face of the oh shit, of, of the hang on hang on. Uh, oh shit! That type of uh, expression that he does is <laughs> disturbing. That's where he pulls his eye out. Yes, it is fairly, fairly grotesque. So yes, yes, you're right. And then he follows her basically from there. Yeah, he follows her, and so Hamza ends up working the same in the state. Yes, as as a, as a servant guy who. Um, what is it? Oh, he has to be gracious. Has to be gracious all the time. Yes. Super gracious. Uh, except his posture sucks, and the guy beats him for it, and some other bits. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he seems... he's learned. He's learning, learning his so way. Much. He's learned so much. <laughs> he is. <laughs> um, and then, of course, as as with any of these uh, episodes, it would not be complete without the uh, the young daughter. The twenty-year-old daughter, I think they say, uh, of the person, the the, the estate owner, um, possibly, and she, uh, she's very prim and proper, mm. uh, but 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 reminiscent of someone else potentially. Hint, hint. Um, <sighs> and then oh, yeah. then we get back into our sort of old ways, um, and <laughs> the old ways of the show where. Um, he is cleaning cleaning a room, right? Uh, cleaning a toilet. Yeah, but it's yeah, and, and it's but it's her toilet, I think, or the toilet she was last on, of course. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. Back back to the old yeah, ways, man. To to toilets are back, and he's fucking the toilet. Apparently, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those crouching toilets too. So it's the little. Yeah. Basin one, not like the normal toilets you see in this country. Uh, it's... And he starts grinding it, yeah. <laughs> it's much. just it's so <laughs> it's like... weird. And then it gets better though, because all... she's there. All... She's there the whole time. Yeah, that's always. He gets caught. <laughs> she's there. Yeah, he gets caught, but she doesn't say anything. She just watches him continue. And then it's like, oh, well, everything seems in order here. And then just shuts the door. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird power move. It's like, it's like yes, this yeah. is very unusual. Oh, well, everything seems good. Better leave better leave him with his toilet. Oh. And then he, he creeps by her room and notices a bowl. 
or yes. something. I mean, it's all about the cup she was drinking from earlier. Yeah. Oh no. And then he takes a like a, a lick, like a cat licking his their food <laughs> out the bowl. Eat. And then he goes mm. the like, proper chibi chibi animated expression as well of yeah. just like eyes and the tongue flicking out. Yeah. Oh. And th- and then he goes, hmm. I wonder what that tastes like. And then he pick- here comes that can. Can's back. And he starts licking the can. And then like, hmm. And then licks the bowl oh. again. And then licks the can. And then licks the bowl. And then uh, he remembers he... her. Yeah. Well, sort of. I think. He, I don't he, know. He positively identifies one woman as another woman because he recognized the taste of her saliva. Can we just. Oh, wait, just what? Think about I, that I thought it was the fact that it was just the same beer. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's, not no... I, that's not what I took from this. <laughs> Your mind's just in the gutter, man. This, no, this show's it's ruined not. you. That, ruined this show you. has wrecked my life. <laughs> you should not watch this. You should not watch just... this. Oh, man. That is, yeah, you're absolutely right. This this show has ruined me. I have immediately, immediately thought of the worst. Because it was never actually mentioned in the show. He he just does it and goes, and there's like a connection. But like, yeah. he doesn't say, oh, that tastes just like her. Or, oh, that's the same beer. <laughs> so, no, because that would be weird. Immediately be he gets, weird, uh, but... immediately gets kicked out. <laughs> He does, uh, and I, I assume it's probably related to the toilet antic, but, you know. Yeah, I think so. Because uh... she says, it's like, you know, search deep within yourself and you'll realise why this is you're being fired. And then, of course, yeah. as always, when he's faced with being fired for being a pervert, he gets quite indignant about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, we, we kind of missed a bit. Um, so before all this, you kind of, like, meet sees the, the lady and gets all the cold shivers type thing with her and drops some big tables of food along right. underneath a, a waterfall and he says something about learning. Yes. This has been very educational. This has been very educational. And he, he repeats that mantra quite a few times in the first half of this episode. There is there's another mantra uh, that we will talk about in a bit once we get to it. <laughs> but and this is the right so this okay I, I i dread to say this next sentence but this is when it gets really bizarre to me is that after he gets fired he sort of just well actually when he gets fired the show gets like really meta for a second where he says like uh we haven't even established the subplot yet it's like wait what never never mind yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just cuts away. It's like, oh, that was a very odd moment, almost, almost a bit prescient to to the last episode. I feel, maybe, um, mm. but then, <laughs> then it turns out that he just kind of decides to live in the forest outside of where he just got fired from. Yeah, literally up on the other side of the road lives in this forest for because he thinks Wait, so he... something's going on. 23 yeah. days, yeah. He carved it into days. a tree. Yeah, just so they know. <laughs> oh my god. And he was about to leave when the lady of the manor gets into a, t- a car and drives away. Yep. And then he tries to follow her. Of course he does. Yeah. Uh, where she finds him, her, in a building. On her own. <laughs> Having sex with a bike again. No, no, no. She was naked first. No. Oh, she's naked? Yeah, you're right. She's naked first. Then she starts having sex with the bike. And he peeks through the door. Like, a good, good, proper sex fiend that he is. Yeah. He, uh... So he's super into that. (laughs) Yeah. Uh... Anyway, she catches him. So he comes out and goes, yeah, sorry. I, uh, been, like, spying on you. Obviously. And then she just basically belittles, belittles him and all mankind by saying, uh, you guys are boring. I love my uh, bike. Because, what's it called? 
I can't remember, but she like I think I might have deliberately removed it from memory because she says it about nine billion times in the last however long of this episode. Just keeps repeating over and over and over about how great her bike is <laughs> and how it's better than any man. Something like Bing Bong or something like that. Yeah, it's like Bing Ba, Bing Ba five hundred or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, actually, no, I'm getting it confused with his bike, which is the something five hundred. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, and then she's, yep, very much more, very much a bit of foreplay on top of the bike, naked. Yep, naked. And uh, he's got a hard on, she, she, and he, she challenges of, him. Of course, she does. It's it's the, the typical challenge is the the sort of she's like I guess we could have sex if you prove that you're better than my bike by beating us in a race. A and it's at this point you realize yeah you realize is that she's she's going to be riding a motorbike, and he's in a fucking pedal bike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like but they're going going downhill. Yeah, yeah, yes, they're going downhill. That will definitely not help the motorbike. <laughs> no. No, it will not. <laughs> no. So it seems it seems as though this would be destined to failure immediately, but it's not. Uh, uh, no, because he's gets the the thought in his head and man's up and does the impossible. You say man's up. He basically almost commits suicide. By throwing himself down what I think is a like a storm drain section of a mountain. Yeah, uh, there's, there's certainly a, um, a concrete layer pipes uh, yep. of the mountain, uh, and then lasses himself onto a Porsche that she overtakes, and the guy in the Porsche feels very inferior to her, and it's like what? <laughs> well, that's because, and like I've written this down specifically because the Porsche bit is great because it's this like weird monologue inside her head where she's like, ah, there's a Porsche driver. You know what they say about Porsche drivers? Tiny penises. And it's just like this really <laughs> odd monologue. And then <laughs> she proper, properly revs up the motorbike and yells, out of my way, pencil dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, that genuinely made me burst out laughing. It's like so stupid. It's like a five year old's insult. <laughs> it's so so funny. Although I yeah. did notice that all of her dialogue does sound like it's being recorded through a Pringles tube for some reason. Like I don't understand why. <laughs> uh, None of it sounds right. None of it sounds right. Oh, well, you know, it's better than uh... what was it? Might be the next episode. There's a weird dub in the next episode. <laughs> There's a weird dubbing in all the episodes. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, anyway, so he's uh, he ends up lasting the the Porsche decides to start racing her because yep he was like insulted, um, yep. and and uh, basically holds this rope while he's flying around the corners and he's like riding his bike flying around the. The railings, the barricades of the of the uh, mountain he, path. He then uses his lasso to lasso a pylon. Yeah, because uh, I think it was a cat or a raccoon or something walked in front of the. I think it was a tanuki, or maybe it was a tanuki. <laughs> but it was a some form of animal, mystical beast. Uh, yep. Cross pass into the road and she swerved and the horse driver went, Oh shit and then he kinda like swerved and spun and then next thing you know, Carol is bouncing off the bonnet and flying in the air, still holding on to this rope, but he don't yep. even know what he caught in the Porsche, to be honest. Anyway. Spoiler. That's not spoiler. Was it a spoiler? Spoiler. It... Well this this whole episode's a spoiler. <laughs> I mean, it's only, what, 35 <laughs> years old? Uh, no, no, it's not as old as that. It's tw 25, 25, 26 years old. Fine. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Uh, and, uh, anyway, yeah, so there's a spoiler, uh, and he launches off the bonnet of the Porsche, because, you know, it's carved, and flies in through the air, 
over the side of the, the road, da- lying almost down, I don't know, good 500 foot drop off the edge. And he goes, ah, oh, lucky I got my rope, and lassoes onto like, the pylon, and then swings himself up, and then manages to land on the cable. You know what I was thinking? That he's better than that um, mountain bike guy. It's really famous guy. Uh, uh, Danny. Oh, no. No, Danny McCaskill. McCaskill? Oh, the guy from Edinburgh. No, he's from Sky, apparently. Really? I guess yeah, he just yeah. lives in Edinburgh because he does a lot of his stunt stuff out there. Actually, he lives in Glasgow now. But anyway, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. It's about Scotland, and all he does, all the videos are about Scotland. Anyway, so he's better skills than him. Hmm. So he's like writing this I... uh, pylon for in the 80s. I have written, and, and I'm, I'm, we're going to talk mm-hmm. about the, the fact is like we may have jumped the shark. <laughs> this might be the proper first, I don't think what you're doing is now possible moment. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is probably the most unbelievable episode of the lot, apart from the and then, bad he's getting away with of, pretty much. Well, yeah, that too. But he does, yeah. listen, talking about mantras as we did earlier, The <laughs> I, I don't think, other than sort of congratulating himself on like using his lasso, the only word he's used for the last ten minutes is the word study repeatedly <laughs> as he's cycling. It's yeah. properly proper lunacy. He's just <laughs> lost his mind going study, 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 while he's cycling <laughs> everywhere. Well, you know, in these kind of situations and what he's actually doing right now, uh, I suppose you've got to kind of focus yourself on something, otherwise it'll just go Pete Tong, you know, all, all <laughs> wrong. Definitely focusing himself on study. Yeah, he likes to study. We know that. <laughs> Oh yes, loves loves yeah. to study, and of course, <laughs> she's starting to worry that oh maybe maybe he might win this somehow, maybe I should try harder, mm. and then he like comes down off of the the pylons but, onto the road. Yeah, they're sort of neck and neck with him mm. slightly ahead, and he's grinding somehow round <laughs> corners on this bike, <laughs> like going super low, like a like a, a super bike driver and mm. she's like oh how's he doing that i was like oh well and then of course he's heading straight down right the way to the bottom of the mountain uh to where there's like road signs that are saying it's like oh the bridge is out and then it's a 90 degree turn to the left and she's like yeah. oh he should you should stop <laughs> you're not gonna be able to slow down yeah uh, and then she realizes that actually, I, I don't think he wants to slow down. He just he's, he's just gonna he's jump a, it. He's just gonna he's a jump because this bridge isn't built yet. <laughs> it's it like all right. Literally, it's the scene from The Simpsons with Homer on the skateboard. <laughs> it's like there's just literally no way he would ever be able to clear that distance at that speed on that piece of equipment. And yet you're like, oh, maybe. It's like no, no, he can't. No. He can't do that. And uh, and it turns out, yeah, he can't. <laughs> no. He's just kind of yippee kayes into the air and then gradually de- descends into the forest below. Yeah, and he's <laughs> she's like, she, she was like, oh yeah, well, let's do it. And then at the last minute, she's like, oh wait, no, I can't do that. Yep. She she decides to stop because yeah. you know, she might have more brains than him. A bit more um, sensible. And then well, he lands. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, shit, he actually kind of beat me and was better than me type thing. Uh, but, oh, well, it's a shame that he died. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were, I, for a moment, I genuinely thought they were going to kill him. I thought that was it. It was like, yep, this is the moment. He's just going to die. He's just going to die. Like, Because realistically, that's how he would go. Doing something like that, yeah. But they did. I mean, but they, they didn't. They, no, I mean, he didn't get electrocuted on the pylons. Uh, no, uh, and he didn't die from a good two hundred feet drop down. 
Maybe no, more. He seems to have survived fairly well on the other perils of the road, as it were. So, yeah. He, uh, he lands and she's thinking he's dead and like, oh no. And then he just pops out the forest, right at the bottom of the, the hill, onto the road again, and still pedaling away. Study, uh, study, 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 studying away. Yeah, still. and she's like, oh shit, he's alive. I better try and catch up with him. Wearing his hat, because yeah. his hat flew yeah, off. Yeah, of course his hat flew off, right? And of course yeah. she's yelling the whole time about how she now wants him to sleep with her. Because yeah. he's proven, he has proven once and for all that he is better than her b- bonobo bike or whatever it's called. Yeah, her her, uh, her bike. Uh, and he's a yes. man worthy. Yep. But of course he just keeps cycling, as always. And we get to yeah. the usual bit where he talks about that he's 25 years old and he's on his way. Yeah, but you also get to find out that his brakes are busted and that's why he can't stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yes. He cannot, he literally cannot stop. So. I mean, he could oh, probably God. just take his feet off the pedals and stop pedaling, but you know. He, he could, but he's studying still. He is studying not so, so that well. Not, not no. that well. Uh, yeah, and that was the end of that episode. That was, uh, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah yeah it was well, I I must admit the first half of it is just so awkward and terrible and then the second half of it made me had me laughing most of the way through so it sort of, on balance yeah it, it sort of worked out better yeah. I think yeah the, the end of the episode certainly balanced it out first part was like so, oh yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a cringe. <laughs> so, how do you rate it, Colin? How does it stack up? I'm trying to think, what is my ratings from before? Okay, let's just reminisce here. So, episode one, mm-hmm. uh, you gave a seven. Yep. Uh, episode two, you gave a four. Mm-hmm. Episode three, you gave a six. Yeah. And episode four, you gave a two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was just wrong. Um, <clears throat> the last half certainly improves the whole episode by a good bit. I said from, well, why did I say the last half? The last half? Maybe the last quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's maybe not quite the last half. <laughs> yeah, because like uh, the first half was kind of nothing happened. He did his toilet humor joke and powered on the woman, and then yep. she was quite what, sexually aggressive to her bike. Uh, would be the term I think. Um, that is the term you're correct. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going to give it. I think I'm going to give it a five. I think it's in the middle of this one. I don't think it's as bad as that... four. But maybe that's just because I'm a male. <laughs> I I, I think we're going to agree on this one, Colin. Yeah, yeah, five. Wow. I th- I think... I do hate this episode because the majority of it's trash. <laughs> yes. But the last the last section of it is genuinely funny because it's mm-hmm. so dumb. It's so yeah. dumb. It uh, I I will probably also give this a five. So that for me, I think ties quality with the first episode, which just has a general air of awkwardness running right the way through it, with a couple of laughs rolled in for me. Yeah. So. Apparently, I think I've also given a five to episode three. Because of the wholesomeness of it all. Yes, that's right. The wholesomeness on that one. Boring but wholesome. Episode yeah. three. Man. Okay, so... This is it. This, this is, is the uh, final, final episode. Yep. This, this is <laughs> episode six. Animation is fun. Animation is fun. So, uh, so this one he, he starts off in an interview 
again, shout out for he has a bike and not a car, as it was requested in the in the advertisement for the the job. That's right. I st- I wanted a car. Do you know what? Don't understand what a car is. It has an engine. Okay. I, I I do understand what a car is, but I'm still here for some reason. And I have a bike. <laughs> Uh, and, and of course, somehow still manages to get the job. Well, he's that no one wants to be hired because not the work. <laughs> That's right. Part, essentially. <laughs> she explains it's like, yes, please forgive him. Uh, we don't get many applicants because of the terrible working conditions. It's like, well, why are you here? Why is <laughs> anyone here? Because I don't know. It's... I don't. Hey, what happens in, in the anime business? I think the work tight, tight deadlines, overworking, manga, all that. You hear it all the time. I don't know if it's changing Al- anything. Almost like the games industry. Yeah, yeah, almost like the games industry. Um, it, I've, I've, I've written here that this is definitely further down the meta rabbit hole. Like, this yes. is very weirdly inception y. Has look at all the effort we went to to make this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was, Very trying awkward. to sell. I mean, you give, give people the impression of how the animation studio works. It seemed quite... I, I must admit, like, I found it quite interesting, like, some of the stuff. Like, the key... F- I, like, for some reason, I, I didn't understand the difference between, like, the, the keyframe animators and the the in betweens, like that's not something I knew. Yeah, gives you some insight. This one, this is actually yeah. learning. It was studying. It was, it was very educational. Maybe uh, we don't work in the ad- we don't work in the animation business, so we can't really no. confirm this or deny this. <laughs> it seems like it was trying to be genuine about its, it's uh, yeah about its information maybe- in this one. For for the time, I think, yeah, and the little budget yeah. of it, yeah. Um. So yeah, he ends up getting the job, and that's the credit scene. Roll the credits, and then he finds out that he's all he's really doing is delivering um cells animation stuff to like other people and being the general dog's body. Well, what he was called the assistant training producer or something. He's um. I can't remember, but it it doesn't sound like what you should be doing. I get the feeling it's like you would probably call you would equate it to someone like a runner on a TV show or a a movie set. Yeah, yeah, seems seems something like that. He just basically goes out so other people don't have to. Essentially, yeah, gets um, people food. Yeah, uh, and then in this episode he gets called Golden Boy too. <laughs> he does. I've written that. <laughs> I've written it says where is it? Uh oh shit. He said the name of the show exclusion <laughs> <laughs> It was so funny. I don't know why it made me laugh so much. It's like we better was it we need to trust that that golden boy is going to do it or something like that. And you're like, oh man, he said the name of the show. This is the greatest. Yeah, so that's further along down the line. Um so good. So, he, so good. Is it a curl, curlers that she does? Uh, that he's he's uh, on. Yeah, she's a col- a colorist. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the girl that his eye is on in this episode. Of course, because he's measuring her her up with his eyes. Yeah. Uh, and I I did enjoy the fact that he seemed to correct himself on her measurements by half an inch. You like? Yeah. She... Yeah, that seems like that seems like an, a a, a measurement you could eyeball and correct yourself by. Oh, well, I don't know, man. Maybe this guy. I can, bet he can. Cause... Yeah, I bet yeah. he can. Because <laughs> he's studying all the time, man. <laughs> he's always studying, always studying. That's so um, wrong. I can't all remember. Right. Like, I'm trying. So the, basically, the the next sort of thing I I have in my notes is the the um the guy that they're work they're doing the movie for comes to visit. With his assistant, no, or with the with somebody else, or is, are we? Are, have I skipped a bit? Uh, skipped a bit. He, he kind of describes his job, talks to the lady, 
um, mm-hmm. she's kind of nice and he's kind of nice to her. Yeah, you know, nothing untowards except that the eyes are up. And then he goes mm-hmm. to speak to an animator who's uh, drawing the uh, other um, animation cells for their other movies. That's right. Because they do a bit of hentai uh, in that studio. Yeah. Well, apparently. Um, they do. And and then they compare boobs and like have a talk in which way they like the nipple pointing when they draw the boobs and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, it is, it's a very serious conversation about and then you get, boob drawing. Yeah, very serious. It's like half a minute or longer. It, it, it might go on for a full minute. Yeah, it is. Wow, now they went into some detail on that, and it's weird. It is anyway. unnecessarily long and awkward. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, then there's the producer. The producer? Is it the producer who shouts at him? Uh, it's like the, the the director, not the director, he's the sort of uh, the owner of the company, I think. Yeah, uh, he, he shouts at us, I told you to clean the place before our visitors arrive. Oh, and then... Right. Uh, and then he starts cleaning, and then uh, the guy, the famous man, I believe he's also voiced in maybe in the Japanese by the actual guy he betrays. It, it, the guy's name is the 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 manga author. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah, like he's basically playing himself. Yeah, <laughs> he's basically playing himself. Uh, As we say, he's further down the meta rabbit hole. Yeah. And the other person is the sponsor. That's the right, that, the sponsor. The person that is giving them all the money to make this show. Um, and then um, once Kintaro finds out it's this guy, he was like, please give me your autograph. And then he's like, what do you think? What are you, what are you thinking that you merely autograph something for a mere uh, peasant or peon? Yep. And he and, does. Uh, and he does, and he's like, oh, you're very gracious. Well done. <laughs> As he butters up the author. <laughs> and then shouts at the um, director, owner of yeah. this company. She, she's very concerned about them meeting the deadline. Yes. Uh, and he, he, and, and he, he seems like he's like, ah, oh, well, it's going to be difficult to animate. It's like, well, that's the first time I'm hearing about that. And then I, I recognize every conversation that's going on <laughs> in here. <laughs> you're you're well versed in, in that aspect of uh, business. Yes, I I I'm well well versed in that. Yes, but uh, yes, yeah, so he still seems confident that they'll manage to to deliver on time. So she goes yeah. away, not happy, but she goes away. <laughs> I don't think she's ever happy. No, prob- that's probably true. That is yeah. probably true. Um, and, it- and then. I, my next note, uh, I'll let you, you explain where we are at, because my next note I think is maybe where we're going. I'm trying to think what happens after that. Well, There's some like, I, more I, I time. Think... He... Oh, he starts cooking he... a meal for them, because he was going out and he was like, can you get me this? And They're like, alright, can we get this uh, noodles from, udons from... Oh no, that's that's what later on. That's later on. Yeah, because that's when he he wants to he wants to cook them vegetables so that they don't get scurvy. Is that or is that there? I you know what? There. I think you're right. Man, that's yeah. much earlier on than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's he starts cooking the vegetables in the I think outside the toilet. Yeah, it's uh, very key to the plot that there's a toilet right there. Yeah, it's like. Only two episodes out of six don't have toilet scenes in them. I mean, that's... I suppose this is the last episode. They got to like, uh, they got to do it in this episode if they're going to do any ARs. They do. Uh, um. So yeah, my next note is more toilet stuff. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's her name leaves the toilet. Mm-hmm. The colors. The colors. Yeah, and she's uh, like, going, oh yeah. That's great. Oh, you're you're really th- looking out at the guys type thing. Is oh, yeah, getting praise, and then yep. you realize that she came from the toilet. Yep. And then go- goes in and does this toilet thing with a knife in his hand still. <laughs> with a knife in his hand still. <laughs> That's very important. And this time it wasn't the lady catching him do that. It's this boss of bosses. 
And then he startles and almost cut, cut his eyes out. That's the thing is, is like he says, "Hey, what's going on here?" And he turns around, <laughs> and it's just like a close up of his eyes, and his fringe just falls away. And like my next note is legitimately, is, "I thought he'd killed the boss." Like, I thought <laughs> like it was gonna be like proper old school anime of like the top half of his head just going <laughs> sliding away. I I I thought he sliced them at least, yeah, but no, oh, no. Man. It, no, just, just just the hair. And then uh, next scene, he's uh, thoroughly beaten up, as he gets sometimes. He is. His face, uh, his body, body reacts pretty quickly to a beating. <laughs> it does, and he heals up relatively quickly as well. Yeah, he's almost like Wolverine. <laughs> God, I don't think we're ready. The world is ready for a perverted <laughs> Wolverine. Snick, snick. <laughs> So then, then he's out and about in the sort of desks area and realizes how much of a mess it is, and he's like, "Maybe I should like clear up." Yeah. Oh, that's right. And, and then you I got... noticed that they inserted just... real photos. Yes. Of desks. <laughs> yeah. That, like half, there's like a half-eaten burger, <laughs> and uh, the plate. Oh, it's just gross. This is such a mess. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah, they they put real pictures. Oh, I I was impressed. And then yep. it's this this bit coming up. Maybe it's just me and potential questionable thoughts uh, on this, but it's like a there's a black person, dark, like I uh, animator. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The big guy. And he, yeah, and he comes up and speaks. And it does not, to me, in my my thoughts, I'm like, that's the type of voice for that character. Nope. The, the, the character voice they chose through that was all wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's just all wrong. It's very yeah. weird. Oh, it is. It is it's so weird. Um, And he then beats him up because he, he's lost all his uh, position in his work that he tied to the desk. Yep. Doesn't like it being tidy. He doesn't know where anything is now. Yeah. <laughs> and so, then it progressed. Of hmm? Oh, sorry, go on. No, you go on. You go on. Then, then I think we have the return of the, the sponsor and the author. Uh, and she's now not particularly happy because it sounds like they're going to be late because their latest report is is showing that they're they're not going to be finished on time. Uh and he's like, "Well, maybe we can work in like a little bit of a delay here." It's like, <laughs> "No, that's not how this works." Um and then poor poor colorist who is bringing out some drinks or food or something accidentally tips them onto the sponsor's chest. Yes, chest. Specifically. Yes. This, yes. Uh, and the the bit I don't get is like of course all of a sudden Kintaro just springs into action with like a, a cloth to mop it up. But like I notice there's like animation timing for that segment where it shows like a, a count of the frames or something like that. Uh, yeah, weird. it is like I think it's maybe a, a timer and maybe yeah. like show how quickly he reacts to village. Uh, and it was like I don't understand just, what the reference was. It was just, just over two weird. seconds. Yep. They it was like the only other before. No, right, it's like the whole only time they did that. It was like, oh, let's put this in here, and he's like really quick. So he, he notices, and then, of course, uh, where where it spilled was um, yep on the upper chest of her. Yep. So let's, let's that. He just uh, it, jumps on in there with a cloth and yeah. waves it about. Yep, and uh, she gets very upset and tells uh, the boss man, "Is like, if you don't finish on time, I'm going to end you." I think was her words. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, uh, quite rightly, like that <laughs> seems fair. Like from what's just happened, you'd, you'd have just been better apologizing for spilling something. Yeah, but, I think I think she was. 
and then uh, he jumps in the bush. Anyway. Uh, and yes. then he's like, okay, right, we really need to pull this together, guys. So we're going to get, once uh, the lead, uh, lead animator or director comes back, we're going to get the this uh, started. And then he takes a phone call. And he just she chips in and goes, uh, director's been hit by a car. <laughs> And it's like, you should probably just maybe, like, keep that in, on the low for the, the second and maybe just tell the, the boss man. It's so good because, like, the team are like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And he's like, ah, I think we can do this. And he's like, ah, well, maybe we can do it. And he, like, just gleefully is like, hey, so the director's been hit by a bus and is now in the hospital. And he just like apropos of nothing, like just <laughs> so cheerful. And then you can watch everyone's mood just be like, "No, no, we're screwed." It was a nice try. I think like at that point, there's legitimately someone who says, "Is like maybe they're hiring at the Speed Racer Studio." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might, so maybe that, or it might be the later. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the boss man is a uh, he turns into a werewolf or something and says, "Don't look at me." Type thing. That's right. And he has claws. And the colorist is looking. The colorist is looking at him in the face and being like, "No, don't, don't, <laughs> no, don't yeah. look at him. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> something bad going on here." Yeah. yeah. Um, but then of course, Kintaro wants to fix things, uh, as is his desire sometimes. Um, and he's like, you know, well. If you're all going to struggle to get this all done, maybe we could like use some sort of computer graphics to get it done. And like, ah, oh, that would take time and it's expensive. And he's like, wait, I, I know, know someone that can help. Yeah. And it was at this moment I realized it was like, holy shit. This whole episode is basically just, <laughs> it's like three, three kids in a trench coat of like references to previous episodes. <laughs> And I've written no way episode one callback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a. Uh, oh, it was um. I I kind of when I and uh, when I knew it was like six episodes, I was like, oh, best the six episodes will have everyone from all the previous episodes in it, regardless of how how it finished. And I was like, what? And then uh, yeah, so he he calls her up and she's like, oh, Kataro, thanks for like. Been great, type thing. Even though, like, she literally fires him for being a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, but he did just... fix everything in the end up. Oh, he did. Yeah, he, he fixed it all in the yeah. end. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, we can maybe try and do that. It's not our specialty, but we'll, we'll look into it. So they, yep. They get on it, um, and then was. The goal. Oh, yeah. he needs. Uh, he needs. Uh, like, he's like. So, what do we need? What else do we need? And he's like, I need reference for uh, like scene two eighty four, and it's like he's like, ah, oh, perfect. I know exactly who to call, and then calls up the swimming instructor. <laughs> it's like he episode four callback. Yeah, literally beat him up and uh, kicked him out at the job, and then she's like, of course, oh yeah, he sure, was still I'll do it for the you. job. Yes. He still changed the way that they taught. Yes. But still, he um, exposed himself. He did. Inappropriately. Anyway. He did. <laughs> so easily figured out. She's like, apart. yeah, you can, you can, I, like, would you, I just need some reference of you swimming. She's like, oh, uh, yeah, no problem. We can do that. Like, oh, okay, awesome. And then it's, uh. Voice acting. Okay, okay, I'm trying. Yes, voice acting. So then it's episode three callback to the schoolgirls. Episode two. It's ep sorry, episode two. Sorry, you're right. Episode yeah. two callback. Yep. And so, oh, they they're not nervous at all. They're being perfect nope. in the job. That vo talk about bad dubbing. That, <laughs> that guy <laughs> is working in the sound booth. That that's bad. I wonder. I almost am convinced that was a deliberate decision to make that as bad as possible because of the job he had. <laughs> <laughs> as the voice director uh, maybe it's, maybe it's, that would be a proper meta step in choice I think this show can be quite deep at some time sure it, when it when it wants <laughs> <laughs> when it wants to be uh, so that, and that was episode 2 callback and then hmm. 
three. Yeah. We get episode three callback because they need people to cook. Well, or they Carl. need food. Yeah, so she brings in the noodle cup loom for the food. She's going to cook for you so you don't get scurvy. Yep, Noriko. Yeah, Noriko, yep. I now remember her name. The only um, girl I. Yeah, we were mentioned by name. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then, of course, like everything's kind of coming together except. Uh, they need something, and that's this is the point where, of course, it's oh my god, he said the name of the show. He's like, we need to re- <laughs> rely on that golden boy. Oh my god, he said golden yeah. boy. Yeah, so it's basically uh, they were saying, oh, we're getting everything done now, but uh, it's the legwork we need to get kind of done. So the the traveling for the film and all that crap. That's right. Like, yeah. oh, it's all right, boss. I'm on it, and he runs out of fuel and. Frisbee's the fucking film. Uh, uh, yep. The, the last on the bike. Call back to episode five. Call back to episode five. Yeah. Oh, and it's just, it's all happening. It's all happening. Yep. Uh, um, and then it turns out he's successful and they're able to have a viewing of uh, the animated feature, which is about an Oni that attacks young schoolgirls. Uh, young kids, I think. I don't think it's a scare. Yeah. So yeah, and they're all sort of like having a. Everyone is there at this viewing party. All of the previous uh, leading women from the pre the the episodes prior, and all of the animators and the sponsor and the author. They're all there watching, and he's loving it. He's loving watching it until he realizes that nobody else it seems to be enjoying themselves at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all all caught in the moment. It seems. Yeah, and, uh, and he starts uh, to panic. Yeah, and the director, Bossman, has his hand in his head, ha- hands in his hand, and <laughs> looking upset. And the uh, Carlos is taking all these notes. Uh, yep. And everyone's sitting there quietly. And he's going, "Yeah, this is great," type thing. And then he's like, "Oh shit, maybe it's the stuff I made uh, changes to in it. Uh, they don't like." Oh he... shit! Like that, like that, yeah. And then, uh, then Bales. He didn't yep. see the whole the whole thing. And by the time it ends, everyone goes, "Yeah, that was great." Yep. And everyone's then, on their feet applauding. Yeah, everyone's happy. And uh, hi. Was... So, uh, there's sorry. Whoa, whoa, wait! Kintaro's uh, left. And then all, all of them the... are angry. All, all, all the previous episode girls are angry that he's he's uh, gone and done a runner again. I mean, the person that said it was the swimming instructor who literally kicked him out of the pool and told him to pretty much stop. Yeah, if you, if you would mind fucking off and dying, that would be great. Yeah, pretty much is the it was her attitude, and she she was like, he's done it again. I was like. <laughs> You threw him out. Rightfully so. But you, but you hate, but you hate him. Yeah. But also yeah. love him for some reason. Yeah. Ah. Uh, anyway, so they all climbing the the fancy sports car of the the lead software developer um, and the bike. And got the bike. Yep. So yep. they're in the, chasing them down the the coastal route in Japan. Uh, and he um is. Somehow cycled so far ahead on that they can't catch up with them. Potentially, I assume that they went the wrong way. I, I mean, one would hope so. Otherwise, we're back to episode five and his superhuman cycling ability. <laughs> well, we Perhaps know he just about went, that. like took it off road and did some like quipping. <laughs> well, you, you do grab, see him basically, like, yeah. just. Just caused him with his self across the map somehow. Yeah, he's now in the opposite end of Japan. I, I mean, you do see him on the coastal route, so he is on a road. You do when you see him. Yeah, uh, that is true, and they are also on a coastal road. Yeah. So, but then Japan fact, is an island. It is. So it could be anywhere. Literally, could be going <laughs> the wrong direction. Uh. But yeah, so uh, that's the end of that episode. And the Carlos just stays behind because she's like, he showed me how fun it is to do my job. Yep. 
I thought in that episode that he was actually maybe actually going to finally settle down with the car with one of the girls. I had so that feeling. I, uh, I, I suppose it's any one of those things. Like when I said, I thought they were genuinely going to kill him off. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it seems like the things that uh, you you think might happen don't tend to happen in this because it just seems to always stick to that formula of him cycling off into the sunset and leaving everyone else behind. Yeah, it's almost like a western. Yep, and today he did it for the last time. He did. He finally cycled off and never to be seen again. Apparently, the manga gets pretty dark in places. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, I can I can imagine. So, I don't know if I I want to read any of that. So, I imagine it might else. I don't know how. It's an erotic comedy. So, an eromedy. A romedy. A rom com. <laughs> no zombies. Uh... <laughs> no zombies in this one. Um, yeah, that was Golden Boy. Yeah, that's it. And and here we go, Colin. What do you rate the last episode? Oh, the last episode. Last one episode was good. Actually. I liked the last episode. I think it was a good swan song for the show. Hmm. I'd agree. I'm. I'm going to probably rate it as high as first one. Seven. Seven. Yeah. We are in sync tonight, Colin, because I was also thinking seven. Wow. There you have it. What about the... You're just going to average the scores out for the... I am going to average the scores out. Uh... Ugh. (laughs) Uh, yeah, average of about a five for you. All right, okay. Run you down or up? Uh, down ever so slightly. All right, okay. Eight. No wait. Nine. Twelve. Thirteen. Yeah, an average of four for me. Yeah, that's about right. I figured you'd be a bit lower than me. Well, you'd be... well yeah, it, the the uh, the middle tier, <laughs> the middle <laughs> episodes were not so kind. Uh, at one and one, a two, a two and a three in there. So yeah, it gets pretty low. It, it does. Yeah, so that was Golden Boy. Are, are you happy I... that you watched it? I mean, you're giving it a four. I'm going to say... Uh, so I, I, I think I'm going to try and explain this to you, and maybe you can you can get this, is that watching anime is not something that comes natural to my interest. I like okay. it. Mm-hmm. So I like certain things about anime. I'm not like you know. I wouldn't watch anime like I would watch a TV show, randomly. If you get what I mean. Yeah. So typically, I'm very picky about what I watch. So mm-hmm. I watch the shows that I'm pretty confident I'll enjoy. So like I've watched stuff, uh, Helsing, Trigun, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Escaflowne, Serial Experiments Lane, uh, a lot of stuff, or, or like. Uh, Tower of God in the New World, all that stuff, like where I'm I'm fairly confident that I'm going to like what I'm watching. Yeah. Um I am <laughs> there is a there's a deep concern in me that I have ruined my my ability to now just pick up an anime because I watched an anime that I did not think was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that being boy. said <laughs> That being said it is um it's sort of like equal parts terrible corny and quite funny when it shouldn't be sometimes uh 
I'm glad I watched it because the dub is terrible and hilarious in every way. And yeah. as, as I will play one of my, my favorite moments here. Since I didn't have a computer, I had to teach myself using a keyboard made of paper. <laughs> Stuff like that is gold. Golden. Uh it just it some of the some of the stuff some of the moments were particularly funny. In fact, one of the moments I forgot to talk about in episode six is that after after he like gives her breasts a good feel to try and clean her, she punches him while yelling, Right hook Yeah, she does. <laughs> she telegraphs it and it's so good. It's so perfect. Um I don't know, like, I think it, it's really interesting because I, I feel like there's um, someone who actually genuinely understands humour in this because there's there's stuff in here, that the comedic timing, like, if you even go back to, like, episode one, where <laughs> uh, he looks as if he's going to interject and help with the Yakuza while that old man's being accosted, and it just shows him, like, walking very close and then just taking a direct route down an alley to avoid it at the last second. Like, that's incredible timing. The bit with the computer, yeah. the uh, all of that sort of stuff. I think it, it, there are episodes where there's a lot less of that stuff. Um, like episode two is not great at all. Um, episodes three and four, uh, like we say, there's, there's there's wholesome stuff. It got kind of boring, and then the swimming episode, which maybe the less said the better. Um, but then, like, I feel like the episode five, which is also kind of gross in so many ways, I think has so much comedy in it that it just balances out. So, like, it's it's a really difficult thing to rate. If anything, yeah. like, I feel like the the four in there is just like they have a clear understanding of how to write comedy in certain circumstances, but that's not what their primary goal is. Their primary goal is to be grossos. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's made me pretty much like a pervy guy that's been incredibly pervy. I mean, this is the stuff that there are people getting put in jail for. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's I mean, definitely risking jail I mean, time I mean, <laughs> in uh, any other this, country. Yeah, if this was like a famous anime or anything like that, it's still going on today, or decides to try and make a comeback today, it's going to get cancelled, like Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, I think the uh, um, <laughs> there's even a line in the last episode where he's like, "You can do so much more with animation than you can with real life." And you're like, <laughs> "Like, like all of this stuff, <laughs> because if you tried to get away with any of this with real actors and actresses, you'd be fired." <laughs> yes, it just wouldn't yes. be okay. Um, animation does sort of like get away with stuff like that. Uh. I do find it interesting. It's I'm like I say, I'm glad I watched it. I think that was definitely an experience in itself. Yeah. Are you uh, are you glad you've watched it? I, I suppose I can't I think I might have watched the first episode way back, like way back, like two thousand two or something. Somehow you got hold of like the series then. Um but uh yeah, it was questionable then, questionable now. It's it's not in any way right, except for maybe the if they cut out all the wrong and had like the comedy bits in it, it would work. Still, or it, it, would, it would also have to be, be it would be less than the runtime of an episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like they could maybe tone down. His a uh, gross um in inappropriateness. Gross in inappropriateness. Definitely a uh, lot of inappropriateness. Uh that goes to say some of the, the girls were also fairly inappropriate in two yeah. and five. Yeah, that's yep. probably a uh, maybe one. I mean you Surely don't walk around in normal clothes with that type of outfit. The kind yeah. of fancy I'm not dress. gonna I'm not gonna yuck someone else's yum unless it's potentially illegal. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Oh, which, no, no. In a lot of circumstances his stuff is is pretty pretty illegal. Yeah, uh, yeah. Illegal, yeah. Um Yeah, no, I I was certainly 
watched it. <laughs> I, I don't say I think... it's a bad experience. Such it's like, yeah, this is what kind of things can happen in these shows, and yeah, it's not right. In the sum it up in one drop. Life is a mystery. Yeah, they do that pretty well. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, such ed- so. so such education. Such education. Study, study, study. Study, 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 study. Yeah. How about that? Do you think he says that when he's masturbating? I mean, probably. It did occur to me that, you know, if that's the sort of raw, horny energy that he was using to power his bicycling, that he probably does shout that while masturbating. (laughs) Oh, well. Yeah. (sighs) On that note... (laughs) What are we? What are we going to watch next, Colin? Well, we're watching Ghost Stories, I believe, the Delta yeah. version, because apparently that just off the chain. I, I look forward to it. So there's what twenty episodes of Ghost Stories? Something like that, yeah, twenty. Or... So what are we going to do? We're going to do four episodes a week. Yeah, uh, five, so weeks. five weeks. Five weeks. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'll double check that. Uh, Ghost Stories. Yeah, me, me. Season 1. Came out in 2000. Uh, finished in March. No, it finished March 25th, 2001. Well, you know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Twenty-one episodes, man. Twenty-one. Ah, uh, we'll maybe yeah. have to include an extra one at the end. Yeah. So you want to do, try and get that down to five weeks then? Yeah, let's let's do five weeks. I think we can we can figure that out. I'm gonna have to to step up my game. And start watching shit earlier. Yeah, you got to start watching it tomorrow, man. Yeah, I better better get on that. Is it? <laughs> so you've already started watching it. Uh, yeah, I did turn it on. <laughs> it, it is it good? <laughs> I can't say for sure because I did say I watched episode one, and that's technically true. It was on. Um, I just went to make some tea. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair enough. <laughs> so Excellent. I got like the first part, and it's like. Is that, is that dubbed? Is that really bad dubbed? Because it, it seems quite tame at that point. But, I don't know, some people are claiming they get some messed up dubbing. Like, awesome. Would probably get cancelled in uh, today's culture again. Because oh. it, it would, I think. Good choices. Would. Yeah. Good choices. So um, um, maybe this so, yeah. uh, podcast won't be around for much longer. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. We won't yeah. be cancelled. We're just commenting on on weird stuff. Yeah, and agreeing it's inappropriate. <laughs> Golden Boy is very inappropriate. If you like to watch inappropriate Ghost. things, and uh, so what you can call it is uh, itchy. Is it itchy? Where it's not quite itchy Et- level. Itchy. 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 Yeah. Et- Whereas it's not quite, it's not even like that level. It's just, he's just wrong. <laughs> he's just wrong. He, he, he acts, He's just wrong. Uh, but he's... He's got that weird attitude of being wrong, but he's not incredibly wrong. He has a righteous sense in him. He won't do yeah. anything it's untoward potentially well I say that and watch next remind me of episode one where he chased the girls because they were like sea base oh one of what uh one of that is type thing oh, <sighs> oh fucking hell man right good times yeah well we'll so, see you next time then I guess yeah see you next time um still playing through min Minoria? Mm-hmm. Minoria? Mm-hmm. You, you cut uh, some of that. What do you think of it? I did. 
it, it looks it, it's nicely animated. Yeah, it's pretty. It looks yeah. like the kind of game that would drive me nuts, uh, well, which probably doesn't take much to be honest. Well, it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's not not like Hollow Knight, where you, you're well, it is a bit like Hollow Knight. You're continually <laughs> lost, uh, but not as bad because it's not so fucking vast. On that. Hollow Knight still... was was good until I couldn't figure out where the hell I was going. Yeah, yeah, Hollow Knight is good, but if you get lost, you get lost in it so fucking easily. Um, this one is another Metrovania style, and it's close. It's a much smaller map, so I think I'm maybe near the end. So, thanks to the last stream on oh, Monday, Monday night. So, well, this we're recording this on a Thursday. I like mm -hmm. to try and get this out Friday, so give that a yeah. watch if you get yeah. the chance. Yeah, catch us on the couch field so, uh, here. We will be back next Thursday to discuss ghost stories. Yeah, one in, to four. I suppose what is technically season two of Who's That Anime? Well, it is season two of Who's That Anime? Yeah. That's, Man, that's... the seasons go past quickly, don't they? Uh, I mean, like, we're all in spring, so just like winter the last one. <laughs> it's very true. I can't believe you laughed at that. I, uh -oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously tired. Um... <laughs> um, oh, I'm... <laughs> good excuses. Right. Yes. Have a good one, folks. We will see you next Thursday. For another episode of Who's That Anime, join in Couch Fuel streams on Monday if you like for Minoria, mm. and we'll see you in the new week. Yeah, see you there, guys. Bye. Ch Ciao's.